How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel and I'm Cherokee Ronnie and today we're going to be building the hardcore off-road do-it-yourself rear bumper. Now these guys are based out of Pennsylvania and they're almost local to me because I am in West Virginia. And let me tell you something, it's the easiest do-it-yourself kit that I've ever done in my life. Um, there's not much parts to it. The whole bumper itself is already bent. Basically you just got to weld the corner pieces on and the top tail light fillers and the brackets for the bumper and you got to weld your own nut certs you don't have to buy those separate it comes with a kit and I thought that was pretty cool it comes with all the hardware and it comes with everything to make the nut certs it comes with everything that you need to put this bumper on your Cherokee and the only thing else you would need is a MIG welder and uh, weld it together paint it up and throw it on your Cherokee and that's how simple it is this kit doesn't take very long to do um, I am doing it outside. Uh, it's a little bit cold out, but I just want to show you, um, you know, you can do this in your backyard. I don't really have much of a how-to video because it's pretty self-explanatory and I'm impressed with the instructions that come with the bumper. There's not much to it. Just capping off the ends and welding the mounts on and doing a little bit of measuring and you're good to go. So I'm really impressed with this do-it-yourself bumper from Hardcore Off-Road. So let's go out here, start putting this thing together, and throw it on the Cherokee and see what it looks like. All right, I went ahead and got the side pieces already tacked in. I like this bumper because it's already bent. The middle is already bent for you. Every, all, most of the work's already done. Went ahead and got this side tacked up. Pretty good and welded it all up, but man, I'm in love with this thing. There's not much work to do. All right, I got all the corners welded up. Uh, I am going to use a flap wheel. Grind it down smooth and get the roundness. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get that done. So I went ahead and threw it on the Cherokee just to see what it looked like. It's just hanging there. I grinded all the welds down and made it round and made it look pretty good just to kind of get an idea what it looks like. Um, I do have to weld the two D-ring brackets on, but yeah, it turned out really, really nice. Like I said, I just got it hanging there, so it's not fully adjusted so these are the bumper mounts that's going to hold the bumper on it comes with the plate and it uses the hitch style but uh, as you can see there's a little notch so you put that on you just tack it up make sure everything's good go ahead and weld it and that's what I'm going to do okay I got it welded all up and uh, so far so good Now, these are the nut inserts that come with it. You gotta weld them yourself. I'm gonna tack them on. But what I do is I put a bolt through it and tighten it down, tack it like this, and unscrew the bolt. And I keep doing that all the way down through there so I know it's center. So let's go ahead and uh, do the other ones. Got them all tacked up. Let's gonna go ahead and fully weld them around. You want your welds to be really good on these because you don't want them to bust off because you know, everything on a Cherokee does. And then these are the tail light fillers. You just bend them up, test fit them. I went ahead and hung the bumper on there a little bit and it just slotted on your tail light and that's what you get. And then you gotta open this hole up in the back and then throw your nut cert in. And uh, this sandwich is on the bottom, just like your hitch would. And you just put it on and tighten it up. I'm just test fitting it because I still got to paint it, but here's what it looks like. It came out really, really well. I'm impressed by everything. It turned out awesome. Like I said, I just have it hanging there, so it needs adjusted. It needs tightened up. So, uh, yeah. So as you can see, it fits the Cherokee really, really good. Um, I can't bolt it up, so it's just kind of loosely hanging there. So if it looks crooked or downward, um, no problem with that. It's not. There's nothing wrong with it. I just got it hanging there because I have to paint this bumper and it's like 28 degrees outside right now and I'm not in the place to paint this bumper. But overall, the thickness of this bumper is awesome. It's very durable. Like I said, it was super easy to put together. There's no guesswork. Um, it was super easy. You almost don't even need the instructions until you go to weld on the mounts and uh so you know how far to put them apart and all that stuff but make sure you go ahead and check out their youtube channel it will be in the description go check out their ebay store where i got this bumper from you can order it from ebay and it i mean they're 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 pretty reputable they're pretty cool guys and i really appreciate what they do 
So make sure you go check them out. It'll be hardcore off-road. Um, like I said, they are based out of Pennsylvania. We'll give them some support if you're looking for a rear bumper for your Cherokee. Like I said, it doesn't take rocket science to put this one together. It was super easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you each and every time I upload a video because we got bigger things coming and different projects on this channel. So don't miss out. Make sure you hit it. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friend.